Well, good morning. Um, thank you all for coming. This is really exciting. This is our first annual Future Teachers Signing event. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what that is, I know that over the years you may have seen student athletes, when they've decided to go to college, commit to playing field hockey at UMass Amherst or something like that, and they have a signing day, and they sign on and say, this is what I'd like to do. So um, uh, the Department of Ed had sent out a uh, communication to us about six weeks ago and said, what if we honored teachers the same way we honor athletes? And they sent some supporting ideas about how we might be able to do that. I got in touch with Mrs. Taylor and we thought that was a great idea. So here we are, we're here to celebrate all of you. So that's really exciting. Um, before we begin, I want to acknowledge some of the people that are here today. Um, first, let me introduce Commissioner Jeff Riley from Department of Ed and Ladami Korea, his Chief of Staff. Um, Mayor Michael Cahill is here to join us, there he is. Um, we have, um, representing higher education with us, Rachel Delacroach from Salem State University, so thank you for joining us. Um, our school committee president, Chris Silverstein, is here. Um, um, we have in attendance two principals, Mrs. Betty Taylor, the principal at the high school, and two assistant principals, Mr. Mark Thomas and Mr. Phil Codere. Um, some of our, uh, our middle school principal, Mr. Matt Posca, is here somewhere. Um, and uh, school committee member Kelly Ferretti joining us. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and also, which I think is super exciting, is some of the elementary. Um, you got that? Mike, I don't drop that. <laughs> um, some of our elementary principals, and I have to tell you all, they were super excited when they heard about this, and so I'm um, really excited to have them join us. Um, from the Ayers Rileside School, Dr. Deborah Lay. From Centerville Elementary School, Julie Smith. From the Cove Elementary School, Lisa Oliver. Um, we also have our Director of Technology, Judy Miller. And um, I want to just give a special shout out and extra special thanks to uh, Principal at North Beverly, Ms. Erin Brown. She uh, really is like the event coordinator along with my administrative assistant, Ms. El Mrs. Ellen Faulkner. So thank you guys for your help. We really appreciate that. Um, so I hope I didn't miss anybody, but we're going to turn it over and begin our event. Um, I'd like to introduce Dr. Hershey, Superintendent, to say a few words. I want to welcome everybody. Um, one of the things that's really exciting about this event for me is that this is my 45th year in the profession. Um, what's interesting is that I didn't choose the profession the way you people have. Um, and I'm proud of you making the decision that you did. I actually thought I was going to do something else. Uh, all of you have identified people in your life who are the reasons that you're here today and you want to go into the profession. Um, my hero actually was my father who was a phys ed teacher and a longtime educator uh, working in college as well. And for me, um, this is my opportunity to acknowledge that because I've always picked other teachers in my life. But my dad was really the one that caused me to become an educator. Um, and ultimately, there is no better profession. Uh, after 45 years, I still enjoy coming to work every day because of the energy in the classroom and the work that teachers are doing. So um, good luck on your future. Congratulations for the decision you've made. Um, you couldn't have picked a better opportunity in life. So congratulations. Now ask the mayor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, uh, proud educators and parents. And to you about to be graduates, uh, thank you. Thank you for making the decision you're making and congratulations on it. Uh, interestingly, Dr. Hershey and I have known each other now for several years and worked together closely. And I didn't know that you didn't choose education, it chose you. <laughs> kind of the same thing happened with me. I went to college thinking I was going to do something different. And late in college, I decided I wanted to teach, uh, which meant I graduated college, unlike you, I had to still go do all of this work to become certified to teach. 
so you educators can appreciate, I went and got certified in high school social studies, actually student teaching at Beverly High School, immediately got hired to teach middle school English, had to go right back to school nights and do it all over again. So the fact that you know at this age what you want to do is fantastic. Um, as you know, because you're still students for another few weeks, uh, kids need their teachers. They need adults in their lives who really matter. They need mentors. And, <clears throat> and I'm sure that you all have that opportunity uh, to be that person for many, many kids. And it's, it's a really an incredibly uh, wonderful thing and a weighty thing. So I just want to give you one, uh, one uh, quote that you may or may not remember, but if you forget it and you ever want to remember it, just give me a shout. Uh, because you'll go off to school and you'll learn some amazing things in terms of uh, teaching methodologies and in terms of the subject matter that you become uh, expert in. Uh, and as you do all that, just remember that it really matters most what's in here. And I'm willing to bet, oh, I know that you all have it right in here or you wouldn't be doing this. Uh, there's a quote that I heard, and, and I've always taken to heart. They don't care what you know. Let me say it differently. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I'll say that again. They, meaning your students in this case, don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. It really is about the students that you'll be serving when you become teachers, and, and you've got four years to become, um, you know, become ready for that, so I wish you all the best. And now I'd like to bring, ask Commissioner Riley to come up and say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are we doing? Excellent. All right. I have two children, uh, ages 16 and 14 right now. Uh, my 16-year-old son uh, is in many ways gifted uh, intellectually. And uh, he spends most of his time playing Fortnite. Um, but he'll be fine, he'll do fine. But my daughter is 14 and has had, since she was very young, special needs. And so when she went to kindergarten, her mom and I were scared to death. She was going to have to wear a weight vest. Uh, she was going to have to have special elastics at the bottom of her chair. She was going to need OT services, PT services, speech and language services. In short, she was going to be different. And we were afraid that she was going to be bullied, that she was going to hate school. But the truth is, is that my daughter has loved school. Every day, she has loved school, despite her disabilities. And from the age of five until the age of 12, every day when I would come home, she would run to the door and say, Daddy, Daddy, let's play school. Now, Daddy's played a lot of school. <laughs> But I played with her because she loved it. When well, Maya and I would play school, invariably she was the teacher and I was the student. And she was serious about school, so she had her objective on the board. There was a do now, there were exit tickets. I felt that recess was too short. I was concerned by the limited number of bathroom breaks that someone in their 40s needs. Uh, and I was a little concerned about the squirt gun she used as a disciplinary device against me. I assume that was her own personal flair and not what was happening in the classroom. But the truth was, I never really needed to go to a parent conference because my daughter was tracking everything that teacher did. She was mimicking everything that teacher did because she loved those teachers. And teachers are our most important resource. They are the ones that are going to make the difference. And if you could see where my daughter was when she was five to where she is now, She's literally been saved by her teachers in the Boston Public Schools. They've developed her to a place where I never thought they would be. And so teaching, in my humble opinion, is the most important profession because it's meaningful. You actually get to make changes in children's lives. I know there's people that go into business and I don't really understand that stuff or law, that's all fine. But this is a profession where you actually will change people's lives. So we're so excited to have you. Um, Congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck. Call me anytime. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. And now, uh, Principal of Beverly High School, Mrs. Betty Taylor, is here to introduce or have the students introduce themselves. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm very proud to be principal of Beverly High School. This is our first annual Future Teacher Signing Day, and not by coincidence, it's also Teacher Appreciation Week. And we're pleased to have Commissioner Riley join us today, as well as Superintendent Hershey and Dr. Tarochek, and all our other honored guests to celebrate with us. My dad was a middle school uh, math teacher, and he said teaching was the best job in the world, and I think he's right. Um, it gives a person ability to expand their mind, to study a, a subject that she loves, to practice creativity, to practice a craft, to perfect a craft, to influence and help others, and to meet interesting people, and to shape the future. Um, it's a job for people who love a challenge and who love giving back to the world. So. I want to pause for a moment because some of these students today invited an educator who had an influence in their life and I would like to recognize them. I'd ask all the teachers that were, and educators that were invited today by a student, would you please stand and be recognized for the influence you have? Thank you. And it's always nice to be recognized by students, isn't it? Um, so we're able, happy to be able to recognize and celebrate your decision to become educators today. We need more teachers. We need especially good teachers. Um, so I'm going to ask each student to introduce himself or herself, tell you the college they're planning to attend, and what they think they'd like to study in education, and if they wish they can say a couple of sentences about a teacher or an educator that inspired them. So we're going to go right down the line and we'll start at my five, far, far right with Caden. Hello. It's, I believe it's on. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Caden Hale. I'll be attending Springfield College next year and um, I'm planning on majoring in uh, education like English part and then a minor in psychology kind of helping out with uh, mental health issues with kids who have like rough backgrounds and stuff like that. My teacher, who I look up to, unfortunately couldn't be here. He's in meetings all day. But um, I look up to him because he's just like me, student athlete, student <coughs> athlete in college, and very communicative, always like to help people and watch them grow and succeed. Hello, I'm Jordan Butters. Um, I'm going to Southern New Hampshire University next year, and I plan on majoring in um, secondary education and like a minor in math to hopefully become a math teacher one day. And I invited Miss M because she's inspired me. Um, she's literally the best teacher I've ever had. She's amazing at her job and one of the nicest people I know. And I hope to become just like you one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Beatrice Crocker. I'll be attending Simmons University for elementary education. Um, I'm actually taking a gap year before that, though, where I'll be getting my license to teach English as a foreign language. Um, and I had some teachers who have actually retired so they couldn't be here that inspired me and that's um, Miss Sharon LaHaye from Hannah Elementary and Miss Kathleen Trider from Beverly um, Briscoe Middle School. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Makai Davies. Uh, I'll be going to Dean College next year and I'll major in psychology because I actually want to be a guidance counselor. And um, though she's not a teacher, uh, my mom, she does like kind of the same thing. So watching her help people. And, uh, but she works with adults, so watch her help people of uh, that age is inspired me to want to work with kids and help them out. Hi, I'm Danielle Deacon, and I'm majoring in music education at Westfield State University next year, excuse me. And um, I'd like to thank two teachers. One of them couldn't be here today, but Mr. Costa and Dr. Eileen Yarrison, she's my flute teacher. They both helped me become better musicians and have really helped me through my high school career, so. Hi, my name is Simone French. I'm going to Salem State University next year, and I'm majoring in elementary education. Um, the teacher that I invited was Senora Ames. Um, even though I'm not majoring um, in secondary education or majoring in Spanish, she always made my class so much fun. I always looked forward to it in middle school. I was able to learn so much in the three years I had her, and I miss her so much. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Marceline Hernandez, and I'm going to Salem State University for a minor in psychology, a major in psychology and a minor in secondary education. Um, the, I actually invited two teachers that inspired me. I invited my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Melanson, who just made my class experience amazing in fifth grade, and I loved history since. And Ms. Bushy, my guidance counselor, that made me realize that helping people is everything for me. Hi, my name is Matthew Miller and I will be attending Salem State with a major in early childhood education. 
I invited one teacher, my math teacher, Mr. Gilson, who I don't believe could be here today, but he showed a lot of patience with me throughout high school, and I'd like to thank him for that. Hi, my name is Emily Nagron. I'll be going to Curry College for, um, for a major in psychology and a minor in education. Um, my teacher that inspired me most was Mrs. Lamont. She inspired me to do better and to help others. Hi, I'm Chloe Panico, and I'm going to Anna Maria College to study music education. Um, the teacher that inspired me most is Mrs. Gross uh, for music education. Uh, she couldn't be here, but she was just wonderful, and she really early on sprouted my music career, and I thank her for that. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Panico, and I'll be attending Simmons University, uh, and I plan to study English and Library Science. Um, I would like to thank Ms. Vecto, the um, Beverly High School librarian, for um, inspiring me to want to become a librarian, since like libraries are so important in today's society and how knowledge is power. <laughs> uh, my name is Ariana Scott. Following high school, I'll be attending the University of Southern Maine with a major in biology education. And my passion for coaching softball actually sparked um, my love for teaching, and I just found it, that working with kids creates such a genuine happiness that couldn't be beat in any other line of work. Hello, my name is Andrew Shea. I'll be attending Westfield State University in the fall of 2019 as part of the Movement Science program. I hopefully to earn a license in phys ed teaching mainly to become a gym teacher in elementary school. But as time goes on, I also think about doing the other levels, like middle school and high school. Um, I just wanted to have a shout out to one teacher who really inspired me to pursue this career in teaching. That is Miss Leanne Harwood. With, at like, the early years of like first grade and second grade, I was really struggling a lot. Like, I thought I would never make it to where I am now, but she really helped me got there. And I'm very grateful to meet her. Thank you. My name is Lucian Thomas Vickery. Um, I'm going to be going to the Massachusetts College for Liberal Arts for a major in secondary education, hopefully. Uh, I invited Ms. Doring to be here today, who is my, or was my sixth grade science teacher. Um, she's always had the ability to connect well with her students, and it was that connection that really made me want to be that for someone else. So, thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. A round of applause for our students. And now we come to the big letter signing. Let me read you the text of the letter that the students have in front of them. By signing this letter, I eagerly acknowledge that I intend to pursue a career in the field of education by attending, and then the name of their college is there. The importance of quality educators in our nation's schools cannot be understated. I recognize that my future role as a teacher, I have both the opportunity and the responsibility to positively impact students' lives and intellectual development and to help each student find success. It is for these reasons that I am enthusiastically committed to being an educator. So I'd ask the students to take up their pens and sign their letter of intent. And I am pleased to um, introduce our teacher speaker today, and that is somebody that's already been mentioned by one of our students, Mr. Christopher Melanson. He's currently a sixth grade teacher at Beverly Middle School, but has been a fifth grade teacher and coach at the high school. He's currently in a CAGS program and actively involved in the Beverly Public Schools community. Mr. Melanson. students up here. <laughs> All right, good morning everybody. Uh, and thank you. Thanks for inviting me to attend and speak at this wonderful event. 
Uh, we are all here to celebrate the young men and women in our presence who have nobly decided to enter the profession of education. It is absolutely fitting to be holding this event today, and extra bonus points should be awarded to whoever scheduled it, being that it is the start of Teacher Appreciation Week across the country. I am, admittedly, a little bit of a history nerd, and over the weekend I decided to do some research about the origin of this special week. What I found was that the history of Teacher Appreciation Week is a little complex, just like the job itself. It ultimately began when Eleanor Roosevelt took the idea of recognizing and celebrating teachers on a specific day before Congress in 1953. In 1980, 27 years after Mrs. Roosevelt's initial plea, a National Teacher Day was finally recognized. It was then expanded by the National Education Association in 1985 to what we now celebrate as Teacher Appreciation Week. Now, while I love being a teacher and especially enjoy the extra perks that this week has to offer, perks like two-for-one burritos at Chipotle <laughs> and discounted books at Barnes & Noble, I stand here today to advise you young educators that teaching can be as complicated, complex, and cons constantly shifting as the history I just summarized. And that's exactly why we need you. Today, according to the CDC, 6.1 million children have been diagnosed with ADHD, 4.5 million children have been coded with behavioral disorders, 4.4 million children suffer with severe anxiety, and 1.9 million children live with gripping depression. We need your compassion for all kids. We need your bravery to stand up and fight for what is right in school buildings across the country. And we need your empathy and ideas to help give every child a fighting chance. We need you. Today, new technology means that students can access information at instantaneous speed, learn about molecular biology in elementary school, tour the Egyptian pyramids from their standing desks, and video chat about the monarch butterflies with experts in Mexico. But at the same time, technology has played a key role in the deterioration of prolonged focus in children, has shifted the student lens to a world of active exploration of the outdoors, to a sedentary system of online gaming and has shaped kids into 21st century citizens that find difficulty in recognizing social cues and problem solving. We need your guidance in these new uncharted times. We need your enthusiasm in establishing caring and powerful relationships for kids. We need your mentorship in navigating the technological world you know so well. We need you. Today, the words school safety extend way beyond bus evacuation drills and guards at our neighborhood crosswalks. Today, according to the University of Missouri study, over 93% of teachers report being highly stressed due to pressure around state testing. And today, the role of educator encompasses those of a doctor, psychologist, detective, banker, dietitian, politician, comedian, and at times even a psychic. We need your courage to face the new challenges of our profession. We need your creativity to inspire increased attendance and participation in our community. And lastly, we need your flexibility in helping the children in your care or supporting your colleagues across the hall to hurdle the speed bumps that are on the horizon. We need you. So I'm blessed to be here today to congratulate all of you for making this very important decision in your life. I am also honored to stand alongside a former social studies student of mine who is signing today, Ms. Marshalline Lil Jalapeno Hernandez. <laughs> I remember her entering my classroom in the fifth grade as a shy, quiet, and curious student who loved history and maybe even a little bit of drama. Last Friday, as I sat in the back of my classroom, I witnessed Marshalline deliver an amazing lesson about the effects of social media on kids. It was fascinating to see her after so many years break out of her shell and present such a powerful lesson that all the students truly connected to. And that moment is what sparked this last bit of advice I want to leave to Marsh Deline and our future educators today. And that is, with authentic, powerful connections, almost anything is possible. Take the time to realize that teaching is a bond between people. And the more caring, supportive, authentic, and strong that bond is, the more each of you, the student and teacher, will learn from each other and fulfill one another's life. So thank you and congratulations to everyone here. Thank you, Mr. Melanson.
That concludes our program. I would say to the students that the letters are yours to hang on your refrigerator. <laughs> and there's the little gifts are yours as well, and the pen. And if you want an apple, take an apple as well. But what really what we want to say is we're really happy and excited about your future. We're really excited about maybe seeing you here at Beverly High School, or Beverly Public Schools, and we know that you're going to have a great impact on the young people of the future. And we're lucky that we had a chance to work with you. Thank you, and please join us for our reception.